All right, in this video, I wanna show you how I put on corner bead using uh, a corner bead tube applicator and the square corner bead roller. So I'm gonna be putting this paper-faced bead onto these corners. I'm just gonna show you uh, a little demonstration of putting them on to these three corners and just show you how that works. Okay, so here's the mud that we're gonna be using. You want it uh, quite thin, soupy. Should just be like that. Shouldn't, shouldn't drip too much, but it shouldn't be thick. Uh, a good test is take the tube. It should just be just thin enough that you can pull it into the tube without much effort and that's all you want. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do, and the most important thing, is you wanna take your bead and you wanna fold back the paper flanges. So for, for, for many years, I never used the, uh, the corner bead applicator because I tried it out and it just wasn't working for me. I was just getting these uh, bubbles. I was getting uh, uh, bubbles behind my corner beads and I wouldn't get the bubbles when I put it on by hand. As soon as I'd use the uh, corner bead applicator and roller, I'd get bubbles. Couldn't figure it out. And then I learned that if you fold back the flanges of your corner bead, you won't get those bubbles. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so let's put some mud on to the corner bead. And that just fits in there. And as you can see, the mud will come out that hole, that hole, and that hole. So, I'll just start in the middle here, put it on. You wanna make sure that you're getting a good full coat of mud and at the top, Get it right up there and then give it a, get a little push. Make sure you get lots up there. Uh, it does drip a little bit. This isn't the cleanest method. So after you're done on your corner bead, you might have to run around and just kind of clean up anything that dripped onto the floor. But the time that it takes to do a little 30 second cleanup is, is nothing compared to the time savings of using this. So, so there we have. The mud is loaded onto the corner and let me show you why you should fold back the flanges. So this corner bead doesn't have the flanges folded back. Now what's going to happen is when I put it on there, it's going to, the flanges are going to scrape underneath the mud. And that's the reason why the bubbles happen because it's getting underneath the mud the paper is going underneath the mud. We want the mud underneath the paper. So, with the flanges pulled back, the corner bead, the flanges sit on top of the mud. So I'll just put this on there and you just wanna line it up, make sure it's sitting good, make sure it's up tight to the ceiling. Then grab the roller now, if you look at this roller, these are uh, tapered inwards. See how it's uh, wider here than it is there? Now, the reason why that is, is so that's to draw mud inwards. So you, it puts it on, and when you roll, it'll draw all the mud inwards, right where you want it, right in underneath the corner bead. And uh, instead of just pushing all of it out to the side. So that, that's a good thing. So, just, uh, there, that easy. Next, just grab the pan and a knife. And so it's already rolled in, it's already, uh, the flanges are tight, the corner bead's tight to the wall. All we have now is just this excess mud that's been pushed out and all we want to do is just get rid of that. 
there's no need for pushing or anymore. So I'm just gonna, so I can just go like this, just, just like that. And I can go up there and, oops, okay, I made a little mess. I'm just going a little too fast for the video. All right, so. And if you, uh, so normally I, I would run the knife right, the edge of the knife right there if I was putting it on by hand. But now that it's rolled in, you don't need to do that. You can just put the knife anywhere you want. And I, I just overlap the knife right over the corner bead. And then that way I actually kind of get a little bit of a coat. And so that's it. So I'm just gonna put these two on real fast and you'll just get to see the speed. So I grab this. Right on. Other one. This mud might be a little bit too thin. Usually it's not this messy. Okay, grab the corner bead. Hold the flanges back. Keep those on. Next one. Sure it's flush to the ceiling. And this one, make sure it's flush. Good. Then Probably imagine this video is quite shaky, but it's kind of just it's hard to film by myself at the moment. So hopefully you're seeing the gist of what I'm trying to show. All right, that's it. So that's uh, that didn't take very long at all. Uh, if I had just an open run and I wasn't talking and just concentrating, uh, a corner bead. Shouldn't take any more than 30 seconds, wiped and finished. And yeah, I could put on, I could put on uh, 60, 60 corner beads an hour. If I, maybe more actually, 